we cover a wide range of subjects, uh, structural firefighting, wildland firefighting, wildland urban interface, hazmat, hydraulics, and so forth. You can go to our uh, Hawaii Community College website and it shows our exact curriculum. Uh, we also have emergency medical technician as part of our curriculum. So when students graduate, they would get an AS degree in fire science. And once you pass the uh, EMT course, you are then eligible to take the National Registry EMT test. And if you pass that test, uh, you would then get certified as an EMT. We also have a signed articulation agreement with Eastern Oregon University, uh, which means that once you get your AS degree here at Hawaii Community College, if you want to pursue your education, you can go for a Bachelor of Science in Fire Administration from Eastern Oregon University through distance learning, which means you don't have to leave the Big Island to get your bachelor's degree. The reason why I say this is all important is uh, if you look to the future of the fire service, uh, you can anticipate if you want to be a fire chief or upper management, you're going to need a bachelor's degree. Uh, my old position uh, with the National Park Service uh, now requires a Bachelor of Science degree. Also, if you get into the Hawaii County Fire Department, they recognize the importance of education and they give educational po uh, points for promotion. So if you have an AS degree, you get four points. If you have an AS in fire science, you get six points. If you have a bachelor's, you get eight. If you have a bachelor of science in fire administration, you get 10 points. That may not seem a lot, but each point you're jumping over maybe 20 to 30 people. So the ones who are going to the top of the promotion list are the ones with an education. So I have a lot of county firefighters who are already working for the county fire coming back to school to get their degrees because they know that the degree will help them with their promotion. As far as job opportunities, of course, there is always going to be a need for firefighters and emergency medical service personnel. Uh, we are essential to the community. We provide first responders. Uh, as the population of the Big Island continues to grow, the demand for fire service and EMS is going to continue. Also, as the population continues to age, uh, there's going to be a demand. So as far as job opportunities and the outlook, uh, of course, there are always going to be a need for firefighters and EMS personnel. If you're interested in applying, uh, one other thing I'd like to mention is that our fire science program is both on the Polymanui campus on the Kona side and at the Monono campus here in Hilo. Uh, if you're interested in applying, I would recommend that you contact our fire science counselor, who is Kanoa De La Cruz. Her email is noa at hawaii.edu. I think that's all I really need to say at this point in time. One question that we have is, uh, is, is there housing for neighbor island students? So if a student wants to go and study um, on the Big Island and be with you guys at Hawaii Community College, is there housing for them? Well, there's a number of housing. There are a number of housing. One is UH Hilo. Our students are allowed to house with the other, with the UH Hilo students. Uh, also, there are lots of apartments and one rooms that are available in Hilo that are really reasonable, especially if you come from Oahu. So there are a number of opportunities for housing either way. You know, as our, for, especially for the class of 2020, as our students are thinking about going to college, they're really looking at programs and, and they're looking at their test scores. Uh, what kind of math do they need to enter fire science? You need to have math 100 or higher. And English 100 and higher. And if a student doesn't meet those um, requirements at Hawaii Community College, are there steps to, um, to, to help them along the way? Yes, like I said, I would recommend talking to our counselor. Uh, a lot of times you can take those courses during the summer that would prepare you for the fall. Uh, one thing about our fire program is every fall semester, we start a new fire program and those are the mandatory introductory courses. So let's say you wanted to start in the spring, I would take those general ed courses in the spring and then enroll in the fall. Okay, we got a question that just came in of how long are some of these courses? 
uh, especially like these introductory courses? Are they normal three credit courses or? Most of our courses are three credits, although we have a couple, a four credit that is a three credit lecture and a one credit lab, which is hands on. Uh, the EMT is a lot more, uh, it's about 12 credits, uh, but that's a one semester uh, course. Uh, the program itself right now is uh, four semesters. About how many students uh, do you enroll each fall into the fire science program? Uh, the fire science program is the second highest enrollment at the college. Uh, we generally have 100 students uh, in the program. We generally tend to get 40 new students every fall semester, but we don't limit. You know, becoming a firefighter requires you to really uh, have a physical training uh, aspect to it. Does the fire science program at Hawaii Community College have a f the physical uh, testing and physical training um, things that go into testing for working in as a firefighter? Uh, the college itself does not. However, 48% of all firefighters die from heart attack. So that tells you how much stress firefighting puts on the body. So we constantly emphasize uh, physical fitness, even though most people uh, starting out are young or in good shape. Uh, I exercise every day. Uh, I promote exercise. Uh, so it's up to each individual to determine, you know, their own type of form of exercise, but we encourage, uh, again, uh, physical strengthening and cardiovascular but whatever uh, the student wants to do, you know, swimming, surfing, walking, running, whatever, we don't emphasize any particular, we just say to come up with your own fitness program. Awesome. You know, the expenses for college, um, you know, are just rising. You know, tuition will never ever go down. I've never seen tuition ever go down uh, in the community colleges. Uh, and students are always asking questions about, you know, how do I pay for the, these, these things like lab fees and uh, lab supplies and uh, uniforms, uh, for that matter. Um, is that part of the program? Do students have to pay for any supplies or uniforms that uh, might be needed to be a fire science major? Not for the regular general courses. The only time you would need the students to get a uniform and to purchase things would be when they take the EMT, the emergency medical technician course. Okay, because again, uh, part of that course, at the end of the course, you're gonna be doing ride-alongs on the county ambulances. Uh, you're gonna to need to have a uniform, uh, but we can explain that to you when you enroll in the program. Uh, but other than that, regular is just tuition to get your AS degree. Yeah. We have a question about testing. Uh, so to become a firefighter, you gotta pass a, a, a competency test. Uh, will being in the fire science program help a student pass that basic entrance test uh, to become a firefighter? Well, first of all, each agency has their own in, uh, enrollment process, okay? But let us look with the Hawaii County Fire Department, which is the largest potential employer here on the Big Island, is first you have to take your civil service exam. Once you pass that, then you have to take your physical agility test, which again gets back to your fitness of swimming and running and so forth. But then if you pass that, then you go what they call the job interview process. And at the job interview process, that is your time when you need to sell yourself to the fire department and explain to them all the knowledge that you gain uh, with your degree. Uh, because again, the next person coming along may just have a high school diploma. So you tell me, who are you going to uh, hire? Someone with just a high school diploma who may be again, a good person in good physical shape or someone who has a degree in fire science or already has knowledge about structure while in has their hazmat certification uh, knows about hydraulics, the incident management, uh, ICS incident command system, and so forth. Uh, who are you going to hire? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why education is so important. Uh, it's a, it, we don't guarantee employment, but it does help you. 
Okay, I have a really great question here. I'm a, I'm a full-time lifeguard in the city and county, um, but I would love to enter into the fire department. Uh, so I'm a full-time uh, city and county lifeguard uh, working full-time on the beaches and can, uh, is it possible for me to be a fire science um, student while working full time? Can I can I take part time class? Can I be a part time student to be in your program? You can take whatever classes you want, but to be quite honest, the majority of our classes are at five thirty in the evening. We start at five thirty in the evening, so they're mostly evening classes. And so it's geared for the working professional then. Somebody who can work a full-time job and then possibly take your class in the evening. Yes. Yeah, a lot of my students have jobs during the day and then take the class starting at 5.30. What other type of careers are available um, in the fire department uh, that you know of? Well, besides fire service, uh, one of my students has a job with the Hilo Fire Extinguishing Company. Uh, they service fire extinguishers and they check the sprinkler systems. And he said the reason why he got his job was because he had a degree in fire science. So uh, besides the county fire department, you have, uh, especially here in Hawaii, you have the military uh, department of defense at all the military bases. They have fire departments. There's a federal national park service has fire. Uh, some of my students have gone to the mainland. I have students who have jobs up in Oregon and Southern California and even Utah uh, with their degrees. Let's see. You know, as, as we are uh, adjusting to this COVID uh, environment and, um, you know, making exceptions for social distancing and such, uh, are there any classes uh, or plans to go online with some of the classes that, uh, that you guys provide? Yeah, it's going to be almost half and half. Uh, I know I'm going to be teaching online starting in the fall. My classes are going to be online. However, some of the other classes are because of necessity face-to-face, -face. like the EMT is going to be face-to-face. -face. Uh, when we talk about the essentials, when you do your hands-on with hoses and ladders, that all requires face-to-face. -face. So some of our classes is face-to-face, some of our classes are going to be online. Uh, my thoughts on this whole thing is we just will have to do this for just one academic year. Starting in the fall of 21, I think we'll be going back to face-to-face. -to -face. Hopefully we'll have a vaccine by then and we can do face-to-face -face and go back to our regular. You know, absolutely. That's what our hope is everywhere, I think. Um, however, you know, this, this, on, this new online environment that we have available to us is uh, making things quite interesting for students and the, the student perspective. Um, what is the placement rate after completing uh, the program? So I guess... Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't have those figures. Uh, I, I just know a lot of my students are in the department, but that's anecdotal. I don't have any exact figures. And like I said, my students kind of go off. Uh, some have gone to the mainland to find employment. Uh, some have gone to the other islands. The only thing I can say is that all of our courses meet national standards. Uh, so they meet either NFPA, which is the National Fire Protection Association, or the National Wildfire Coordinating Group, NWCG. Uh, so our courses are recognized, and that's why Eastern Oregon University accepts all of our undergraduate courses towards their bachelor's program. You know, Hawaii Island has, has such a great, uh, a great bunch of national parks there. And I know, um, I know there's a, a, a whole contingent of um, park rangers and 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 things that that could be applicable for for someone in the fire science realm. Do you think? Uh, do, have you guys looked at any kind of um, let's say any kind of internships or uh, maybe some some work study programs with uh, with some of these agencies? Yeah, uh, of course, we would like to have something like that. It's hard for those agencies. But to be quite honest, one of my students is working this summer now up at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and on the fire crew. So, uh, and a lot of my students have ended up being uh, hired as emergency firefighters, which is only uh, temporary, of course. Uh, that's a potential. 
but the, we have here on the Big Island called the Big Island Wildfire Coordinating Group, which is all the fire service agencies on this island, on the Big Island. We meet every three months. Uh, and Hawaii Community College is part of that group. So all the agencies know uh, about our students, about our program. And again, the whole purpose of our program is to provide these agencies a pool of well-educated uh, individuals for them to pick from. And like I said, different agencies have picked up my students over the years. That's great information. You know, our students are really looking at, um, you know, the perks of being a firefighter, you know, the, the three days on, four days off uh, kind of thing. Um, but really, when it comes down to it, in, in choosing fire, being a firefighter for a career, what, do you know what the potential salary range is for a starting firefighter? And Yeah, and it's pretty good, especially here in the islands. Uh, but if you want to get rich, don't be a firefighter. You know, uh, do something else. Uh, and the money is not when you join the fire service. Uh, firefighting is hard, dirty work. It's somewhat hazardous. Uh, you have to enjoy it. You have to be able to have the self-satisfaction at the end of the day that you help people, you help the community. Uh, that's the key. Uh, if you're just in it for the money, uh, but you know, again, firefighters make a, a you know, a good decent salary. I think it's over 40,000 starting a year, but you know, you can go and check, uh, and different agencies have different pay, you know, so, uh, I recommend all students, you know, start looking at the different agencies, go to their websites, find out what their mission is. If you want to find out what their pay is, you can find that out. All that information is available on Google. Just Google whatever agencies you're interested in and so forth. But all that information is there. So thank you so much, Professor, for joining us today.